It's May 5th, 2022. Um, so I'm here in New York. And again, I don't have like a private line into like the family run business, which is some form of government. Um, again, I don't really know family names. I don't know the faces. I only know what's been televised but now I'm in a state and they've started this new thing called streaming where I'm afraid that just anybody could gain access to really important information that may not pertain to them but that seems to kind of be a mute point at this point, um, because the precarious situation that I'm in in New York, which I don't know who, there are others that know, um, in some kind of shroud way, um, but I just feel like there's been no backbone or back up or, I mean, like, why is there no bodyguard or, like, point-to-point -point contact that really seems frivolously neglectful of certain family members that are put in states and near cities that have special circumstances, if you will, and leaving us in the lurch and without proper care or contacts seems really dangerous. Um, so this is the governor from Connecticut was brave enough to go on the evening news, which I thank him for. His name is Ned Lamont. He's a governor. And then Governor Kathy Hochul, which is in my uh, state at the moment also, um, trying to explain to me so I can explain it to my, sons if, my son if he asks. I don't even know if the others know enough to ask because this has gone on so long and we've been held in like the dark for so long. Um, I don't even know where to begin with my children with this stuff. I'm not even 100% sure myself. The governor of Connecticut, Ned Lamont, signing the first in the nation law to protect medical providers and out-of-state patients seeking abortions in Connecticut. This put protections in place no matter what the Supreme Court does with Roe v. Wade. Meanwhile, New York Governor Hochul telling me today that she is trying to get the state legislator, legislature to solidify even more the constitutional protection for a woman to keep the right to choose to have an abortion. I'm also concerned that if there ever is a change in Congress, and there's a national law on this, that our rights in New York could even be jeopardized. So I'm going to be working with the legislature to come up with a constitutional amendment to enshrine these protections in our state constitution, but also making sure that our providers have what they need. Governor says she hopes to get this done. Yeah, that hits the key points for me. Message received on that one. Um... Star 1978, Star 8378, Nicole Cataruza, because those are my key points that I've been most concerned about in my little discovery phase of trying to document and raise a whatever. Um, for I know, like, I might not remember exactly what their faces look like, but I know that there have been very few, not even, less than on one hand, over six foot, someone to look up to that I've met in my life. Um, it's star one nine seven eight, star eight three seven eight, Nicole Cataruzo.